Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Cobrox Fire, and I'm here today with a special video. Today, we'll be doing some 3DS gameplay, and I'm going to be playing Pokemon Ultra Moon and Pokemon Moon at the same time. How? Right here, these two things are why. I have my 2DS XL and a 3DS XL which a friend gave to me. Uh, I just gotta put my game in here. Okay. Hope this 3DS does not break it. Because hope the game does not get broken. Okay. So. I'm both on. So what I want to do, guys, is I actually want to trade my Beedrill over to... Pokemon Ultra Moon because there's a move only exclusive in Ultra Moon that I have to teach my Beedrill in order for it to work. It's not registering on the screen here. Hold on. It's gotta come on game. Please work with me. Please work. I need you for this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Guys, uh, it's gonna take a while. Because this game is ridiculous. Ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, so, Pokemon Moon and Pokemon Ultra Moon. We're gonna play them both. So let's get right into this in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so my reasoning for actually playing both of these games at the exact same time for this purpose is because I actually want to help my Beedrill become the ultimate Beedrill. It needs to learn a special move in order to do so. But it requires for me to do something. This game is only compatible with this one so it has to make a new file for this one. Ah, uh, Ultra Moon is just so cool. But okay. So these are my files. I'm here in the Battle Royale Dome in this game. And I'm at Seafolk Village in the other one. I never completed this game. So as you guys could possibly see here. This is the file I mostly use. My Moon file. Playtime, 999 hours and 59 minutes. It's actually way beyond that. But once it gets to there, it doesn't go anymore. And then here is this one. So, alright. Uh, let's go in. And good thing is, I do not need internet connection for this. So these are my characters. So, what's up? My characters look pretty good. I have yellow hair in this game. Well, I got, well, I got black hair in this one. Okay, but let's, let me show you the Pokemon that we are going to be working with today. So, hold on as I get going. I was participating in an event earlier, it's called the GTS War, and man, oh man, is that hard. Oh, also, I have a special Pokemon that I actually obtained in this game. So, here we go. Alright, so this is a Flexi team that I transferred over to this game. Which was Lieutenant Surge. I have a Mew that I had in my other game transferred over to here. Shiny Fermosa. Okay. Shiny Luck I got in this game. I transferred over to that one. Since I couldn't get the Magnezone. Shiny Swallow. Heliolis. Arid Shiny Aerodactyl here. Really awesome. And really. I mean it is cool. I mean I never expected this. To get this Pokemon. This Pokemon is awesome. Ampharos. Here is my Pokemon now. Pokemon we're gonna trade over 
is Diancy. And here is our other Pokemon. So we're going to transfer over these two. So, what's up? This is Beedrill, the Pokemon whose moveset does not look really good. But she needs it if she wants to become complete. So we're going to work with this. And here is the other Pokemon. I originally got Diancy at via Wonder Trade in my Moon game. But I needed this for Ultra Moon because I had the Dianceite. So I got the Dianceite in, in Ultra Moon. So I'm going to use this. So those are our two Pokemon. Okay, now we need to go on over and we need to go into a festival plaza so I can connect both the games together. Here's Wayne right here and Moon, if you look on the left. So oh, conflicting. Okay, go into the trade booth. Link trade. Here I am. Here we are. So, and here's the thing. It says I am oh I am a European <laughs> and <laughs> I'm a European in Ultra Moon, which is crazy. But okay, but this is. What we're gonna do, so we're just gonna wait here. Yes, I want me to play with me. So, okay, we're gonna go in. Okay, so now they're accepting each other. Alright, so, here we are. Here's our box. Alright, there's my Steelix. Okay, so just taking a look here. So, uh, Gardevoir, Blaziken, this shark. Here is Beedrill. And here is Diancy. So, we're gonna trade these two. Okay, here we go. I hope this will work for both. Alright, cue the awesome trader music. Okay. So Bijo's going to Ultra Moon. Diancy's coming over here. What's up, Shiny Darkrai? Alright, both my Pokemon are traded over. Welcome back, Beedrill. <laughs> that one says, Welcome back, Beedrill. This one says, Welcome back, Diancy. Alright, so that's it. So now the task has been done. Do you guys want me to... Alright, so now that we've got Diancy over here, and Beedrill over here, it's time that we work on Beedrill. So, I'm going to leave out of here and close this game and then I'm not going so far yet all right so I'm gonna go here okay there we go so that game is done so now we all we have to do is focus on this one now all right so B Jewel is in and I just get, got a reminder to make a call to Spin Master later, so we will. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? All right. Uh, I love my Ultra Moon team. So also, guys, I'm gonna show you guys just real quick my uh, team that I be using, that I am using in Ultra Moon. So here we go, Shadow. 
jolly nature. I made sure it had a jolly nature because it needed one. Level 69. Green arrow. And green arrow. Dusk form lichen rock. I have El Tigre. Noi Noi and Wishy Washy. So that's the team I figured on using. But I really didn't know what other fire type to use that was available in Ultra Moon. So I just went with Incineroar. I also needed it for my Pokedex. Here's Zeraora as well. This Zeraora I got from the special Zeraora event. So that Zeraora is what is being used. Okay, so go to the box. Show for today's box. And here she is. Here she is, there's our little beauty. So we're gonna swap it out. This Snivy for this Beedrill. All right, Beedrill, you are going to learn a drill run. And I'm actually gonna get rid of X Scissor for drill run. And then I'm gonna replace Toxic with Roost. So Beedrill should be really good by then okay so now that I told you guys what my goal is you guys get to do the fun part watch me play okay so we're gonna play as I sit down here okay all right so this is this is all fun in here so this is uh this is Pony Village for people who don't know what this is. There's a Crabrawler right there. And here's a little girl right here. Okay, we're gonna run around. I think I'm just gonna walk down all the way to the end so you guys can literally just only focus on me. Alright, so now I'm gonna fly with my Charizard. So in order for Beedrill to learn Drill Run, she needs to go to Ula Ula Island. Let's see here. Boom. Ula Ula Beach. Alright. I usually use this game for the sole purposes of trading over my Pokemon. So welcome to the Hula Hula Beach. These are my scores, by the way. 62,918 points on the surf spot. Boss, 43,200. Big G, 33,800. <laughs> okay. Hello, lady. Are you the... It was about beach points and battle points are really the same thing. Okay, so let's see. Nope, this is the items. All right, this one. Thank you. Yes, I want you to teach my beach. Okay. There it is. Drill run. Which Pokemon do you want me to teach? Beedrill. Choose a move. You like a Pokemon to get so it can learn Drill Run. Okay. It's gonna forget X Scissor. And for only 8 BP, that's pretty good. Got how to use X Scissor and Beedrill learned Drill Run. Uh, no, I'm good. Because the only other move. It is gonna learn is roost if I have roost in here. Did I get roost yet? I do not remember. I've not played this game in a bit. Uh, no, I do not have roost in here. Oh well. Well, I got what was needed. Now my beedrill knows drill run. Okay. So, check its summary. 
Alright, so that's just pretty much a stat ring right now. And as you guys can see, it's... Special attack is terrible, defense is bad, speed mm, is alright, HP is through the roof. Attack is almost there as well. But it's pretty good. But, uh, it heals to be chubby as no other. Alright, so this is Drill Roar. The user crashes into his target while rotating his body like a drill. Critical hits land more easily afterwards. So that's gonna be awesome. Foul Stinger. When the user knocks out a target with his move, its user attack stat rises drastically. In other words, by three. So good. So that's gonna be awesome. Toxic, which will be replaced with Roost. And actually, I'm gonna keep Diancy in my Pokemon Moon for a while. There's a wasp building a nest over here in the mirror. I mean, in the window. Also, I got stack attacker here, but I never completed the game, nor got to the part where I needed to be in order to get stack attacker, but, oh well. It's still good. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna fly on over to Tapu Village. If you guys want me to do some gameplays throughout my games, if you guys want, comment down in the comment section below what you would want me to do. I could do some battles, showcase you guys some battles I've done, or we could, you know, we could, uh, I could do some shiny giveaways. I could do some shiny giveaways as well. Okay, that's done. Yeah, so we gotta save. I do like the saving animation that they do for this. Watch this. So it's like I got a diary, so I write in my diary. Hey, there we go. Alright, so now that is done. It's time to bring the other game over and get us some fun here. <laughs> Dark Rai getting in the shot. <laughs> Dark Rai, you funny. Okay. So, back on over here. Alright, so now we are ready. But I'm gonna keep Diancy over here. So, trade. I'm just gonna walk around here as I. This one. I'm inviting myself to Link Trade again. Alright. Alright, so let's do this. Well, what worthless Pokemon could I trade over? Okay. Okay. So, there's my Diancy. But as I said, we're not going to use Diancy. But it is going to be Beedro. Okay. Um... Actually, what non-worthless Pokemon I could trade over? Good. Also, guys, if you look here, I have a box full of Grimers for the Flexi's events. When the Flexi does his teams, I have not finished yet, but I'll make a video in the future stating about what I'm going to use these Grimers for. And I'm thinking about, you know, making Grimers so I can give away to people as well. So, for people who need Grimers, they can come to me and I would have Grimers for them. They can maybe fill about eight of these boxes up with male Grimers. That would be good. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm checking my transfer box. Okay. It's Mingus, Tertonator, Kadabra. Ball toy, add a boy, <laughs> throw, tyrant, larvesta, wyvern, tartoga, um, what Pokemon I really don't use? 
Um, yeah, this is this is a hard part because you don't know. I don't know what to trade over. Wait, what is this? Why am I get a Pidgeotto in here? Huh? Oh, Cherim, Heat Rock. Okay. Gonna be Obama Snow, Moongus, Gorgas, Breloom. Um. Let me see. I got these Riolus here. I might use that Riolu in Little Cup. I don't know. I never played Little Cup. I have Spirit Tomb though. My new little queen. I got a male combi. Yeah. Robo Pass. Actually, you know what? There is Pokemon I did want to have transferred over to. Uh, hmm. That's right, I traded away one of my Gyarados to get Shiny Latias, so messed up on that. Okay, yep, trade that. Trade and trade. Okay. So, there we go. Put Shiny Latias in Breedle's place. They deserve it. <coughs> Sorry guys for my absence of videos. I haven't been really feeling well lately. I actually fell sick when I came back from Denver. And so I've been actually under the weather for a while. That's why I haven't made really any YouTube videos. But now I'm back in the action. And I am here. Once again. Alright. So that's it. Got our Pokemon going, so now I got that taken care of. All right, all right. So now both my Pokemon are back in the game. Okay. All right. So that was pretty easy. But alright, so that's going to be it for this Ultra Moon game. We don't need it anymore, so thanks. I'm so glad I have this, because if I didn't have this, it would be so difficult for me. Okay. Boom. Alright, well, that game is off now. Thank you so much, you 3DS game. You know what? I'm glad I didn't decide to sell that thing. But then again, if I did, um, oh well. Alright. So here is Beedrill. Now knowing Drolon. Okay, so. Uh, put Beedrill here, put your ninja in this box here and put star raptor here put electrivia here put the one here Give me Diancy. Now, Metagross, where are you? Here you are. Right. Place Metagross with Garchomp. Put Garchomp here. Okay. And now uh, I'll just take Galay, put Galay aside. Alright. So now guys, I'm going to show you my Pokemon. So first things first, Beedrill. We're not, we're not through yet. 
we need to learn Roost. Good thing I have TM, TM19, which is Roost. Alright. Replace Roost with Toxic. There we go. Alright. Now, let's check the summaries of our Pokemon. Alright. Aerial V time. Alright, so now this is the moveset I'm gonna pick out for Beedrill here. With Mega Stones and everything. So, Poison Jab. Target is stabbed with a tentacle or arm steeped in poison. This may also poison the target. Drill Run. The user crashes into his target while rotating his body like a drill. Critical hits run more easily. Roost, the user lands and rests his body, or restores the user's HP by up to half its maximum HP. And then Fell Stinger, when the user knocks out a target with his move, the user's attack raises drastically. So that's Beedrill here, and so has it its stats. That's the EDs I put into it. Oh. There's hardly any on defense. I'm gonna have to work on that. Here is Metagross. He's a big boy. I mean, look at this. He's so buff. I mean, that attack is through the roof. And defense is even higher. Speed, special defense, special attack, and HP still need work. But does the sweep set for Metagross. Really, surprisingly, Metagross is the first Pokemon to actually have a... Uh, Sleep that that only requires three moves. Iron defense uses hardened its body surface like iron, sharply raising its defense stat. Earthquake user sets off an earthquake that strikes every Pokemon around it. And this is Meteor Mash. The target is hit with a hard punch fired like a meteor. This may also raise the user's attack stat. Also, it's basically a, a steel punch to the face. <laughs> uh, so far. User focuses willpower to its head and then attacks the target. This may also make some target flinch. Imagine hitting Imagine hitting your opponent with your head. Like extremely hard. That would really hurt. And so here is Diane C. Stats are pretty good. Actually. Yeah, stats are pretty good. Okay, so, Diancy knows Moonblast, Diamond Storm, which is a signature move, Hidden Power, and Stone Edge. Also has the ability Clear Body, just like Metagross, which Clear Body, hold on, let me get that. Clear Body prevents all other Pokemon's moves or abilities from lowering the Pokemon's stats. With himself. A Pokemon whose stats can't be lowered is actually pretty good. So, just real quick, guys. For you guys who do not know. Well, like, what is Meta Metagross, Mega Beedrill, and Mega Diancy actually look like? So, I will show you guys. So, let's play a little Pokemon Moon. Okay. There's some grass over this away, so we're gonna run there. Actually, you know what? Forget running. Give me my horse. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road, and I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road, and I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. <laughs> Alrighty. So, I got some grass right here. Alright. Thank you, Mustel. You are very helpful. I can ride around the grass a little more, so let's do that. This one we'll showcase off is Mega Beedrill. Actually, actually Mega Metagross. Actually. Well, it depends on these face. Oh, grubbin. Metagross is first. Okay, so, fight, 
I'm gonna go with a meteor mash. Oh, he doesn't have his mega stone on him. <laughs> I also forgot that. Of course, he doesn't have his mega stone on him. <laughs> Uh, I totally forgot that. That's what the Mega Stone from Metagross looks like. It's called the Metagross side. So, switch the Metagross side for a Lucky Egg. Okay. Alright. Now, we don't need my horse anymore. And I might go shiny hunting again in the future. Oh, Pep's adorable, but it has to die. Even Metagross knows that. Okay. Hit the Mega. And now we Meteor Mash. Meta Metagross. Thing. And that is Mega Metagross. Look at that. Look at that. Right in the face. Ouch. I knew that had to hurt. Alright, so that's Mega Metagross. Next one is Mega Beedra. And Mudbury is a perfect target. Alrighty. Switching into Beedrill. <laughs> Only did two damage. Okay. I'm gonna use Drill Run. Beedrill's Beedrillite. If you add it to the Keystone. Here we go. Now that's Mega Beaver. Looks like a big old. Ooh, that has a hit. Alright, there we go. Now the last one I want to save is Shiny Mega Diancy. Yes, you heard me right. I said Shiny Mega. Alright. Okay. Alright, come on out, Diancy. What's adorable? A rock smash. Alright, not gonna do much. Let's mega and use Diamond Storm. Never had a Mega Dynasty in this game before. This is awesome. Boom. There we go. Alright, guys. Well, that. That, my friends, is my Mega. My three Mega Pokemon that I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because I so did if you guys if you guys did comment down in the comment section below and comment your best part and as I sign off watch this quick battle between me and my best friend Wayne also shout out to Ibrahim thank you so much for being my friend and helping me and also guys I have a new Instagram page for you guys who do not know. Uh, Instagram is Cobra's Fire. Link will be in the description below. All right. Ooh. 
This battle only lasted three times. Alright, so we're on turn two. I was like, that did nothing. Because that happens. God. Oh, God. I felt like that I should have gone with a knee mask instead of a like, red butt. Either way, we were dead. <laughs> but, alright. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little time. Sorry for the punch. Sorry for the absence of my videos. And I hope you guys have a good day. This has been Cobra's Fire. Peace out.